Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're talking about really big torque. I'd love to tell you we're doing an experiment today, but this is just more show and tell with a really cool tool we have here. So this is a 3 8 inch ratchet. This is like something you'd use in your driveway to fix something. You could put about maybe 50 Newton meters of torque with something like this. If you need more than that, you got to switch to the breaker bar with a half inch drive. This is good for probably 250 Newton meters of torque. If you need more torque than that, you're going to have to go with something like this. A one inch drive, six foot long ratchet. This will do about a thousand Newton meters of torque. If you need more than that, there you go. You're gonna have to get yourself one of these. This is the Atlas Copco QST 335 10,000. 10,000 Newton meters of torque. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's so bad. Sorry. <laughs> this thing will break anything you can throw at it loose. So. All right, today we're gonna set this up with a test joint. We've got our test joint over here, and we're gonna run it with an inline transducer. This is gonna measure 10,000 Newton meters of torque as we put, as the output of this tool. All right, so we're gonna test it on the test joint and give it a shot. Let's check it out. was an awesome test. You couldn't see as much as I was hoping for, but you could really hear the torque building up and the energy that this thing was building. That's a really impressive torque number at 9,500 Newton meters. You might be asking yourself, what is this tool like this even used for? Well, this particular tool is used to assemble giant hydraulic cylinders together. So you can picture a thread being this big around and the torque you would need to tighten against that. So pretty impressive tool. I don't think I'm gonna see one of these 275 pound tools in my toolbox anytime soon, but really nice to check it out. Awesome we got to see this today. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.